Hello everyone, it's Son of Beast, and today is the final game of the regular season of NHL 23. I hope you all enjoyed your favorite teams playing against each other here for NHL on EA Sports. Since we have seen so many regular seasons here, there was a lot to share things of ours in between here that they loved here about hockey. Well, because it's hockey for everyone. And we know that this is the favorite game that they love to watch better than the other sports like baseball, soccer, I mean, soccer is a very uh, longest sport of the event. But the hockey one was a fast one that they really enjoyed it too. So it is a fantastic moment to give this thing a credit run that we always do. And stay tuned as we've got the NHL on EA Sports the Stanley Cup Playoffs is back here on EA Sports, so make sure you keep tuning in to the postseason of the NHL once the regular season is over. And then we will get into this one right at this moment. The next of the last matchup we have is Calgary Flames, and they are taking on against Seattle Kraken at Climate Pledge Arena. The starting lineups is currently as followed. We have his Jonathan Herberdu, Jacob Markstrom, and Nazem Kadre. On the other hand, for the Krakens, there are no superstar players just like the same thing. Yanni Gorde and Jared McCann. Now let's talk about here about three guys. They got a lot of things to talk about in between. First off, for Jonathan Herberdu, he has got some tape to tape feeds. Because of his Ely passing within the vision, he really has faced things on the board. And yes, you can tell by last season, he definitely did play with the Florida Panthers. If you guys recall that one, that was the first guy that he was ever trying to play with the Panthers of the longest season. But now, their NHL contract teams has decided for him to leave with the Panthers and go with the first one. Because Johnny Gurdura. Johnny Guru has with the Columbus Blue Jackets and now decide to replace him. Herberdu might need to find another way to give them a shot better than the Panthers score because it might be impossible to go with that one. Next up is Jacob Markstrom, the starting goalie for tonight, as he's got dialed in. Dialed in is a maximum saves, and when he's on a roll, he has able to pick up his own good time score with his saving ability run, a percentage, last stand, also a butterfly effect. A sponge is great rebound control and all or nothing. Get some great poke checking if there is a number way that he can get over it. And finally, Nazem Kadre, after Colorado abs, he now goes with the Calgary Flames. Yep, and this is no contest with an early puck battling. That has to bring things up here as he played here with last season since we remembered it from season number one. But this time, this goes out to give him a team what he has to go for if there's no players in between. And on the superstar players we have is Elias Lindholm and Mackenzie Weger. Now let's send you down to Climate Pledge Arena. I will have Test Tube standing by and a center ice will be me phone and I'll be along the side. So without further ado, enjoy your last game of the regular season and let's get rolling to finish the regular season for the closing. Here we go! Hello everyone, Test Tube here and we are at Climate Pledge Arena for tonight's matchup. It's the Calgary Flames going up against Seattle Kraken. It's the final game of the regular season, and we're about to get things started here on the ice. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. The starting group of here has followed right now. We have as Hannafin. The other side right now, we have a number one here. We have Jones, the starting goalie for tonight. The first penalty, a shocking run, as we have as Matty Berniers. He's in the penalty box. That will give him a slash call. After the faceoff win, he was starting too early. I have to say, it's not a great key to give that one a setup. There we have a push. 
John, if it, Herbert, who has got some great technique scores, this one he can definitely try to kick things over to go for the tape to tape feed. A long ability is more than anything. With just a call, he will have to make his moment to try to keep an eye on the focus. I'll keep an eye on touch here for Jonathan Herbidu for the passes. Back to you guys. Here's Anderson outside. Moves around in. Gives it to Lindholm. Back over to Anderson. And it's Herbidu outside. Across from here is to Foley. And finally, we have here is McCarr. McCarr was really an excellent player since playing with the last season with the Avalid, with the Avs, he now has his own timing to give this one a good check. And now his team is definitely not needing him to try to give him because they have definitely made a great win against the Bolts. They're definitely on the best plays of this record for the Bolts. But however, their team is definitely putting it up like on the big ones tonight there, Test Tube. Of course they do. Here's Lindholm, 20 seconds on the power play for Cavs, Calgary. This one's going to go back over Herbert and shot. That's the flick of the rear line hit. He's almost ready to go. Anderson. Puck clears out. The power play's over for the Calgary Flames. Yeah, a little bit or two early at that one. I have to tell you this one because the player was not really well to get ready to get set. Maybe there is another way that I need to get these things a try to give it another run. If they don't have it, they're not going to find anybody. Puck is loose. Kadri recovers. Lindholm back the airway. Now back to Anderson. Shoots a shot. That's stopped by Jones here on the airway. Seattle will now take it. Oh, big bang. That's a slash on flame pow move. Oh, man. That was a very tough one. Lindholm back to back one. The Flames carry inside on offense territory. To Foley, back over to Herberdu. Back over to Tanev. Shoots it wide. That's off the goalie with a save by Jones. Jones has a couple saves here in the inbounds. No scores yet. Tanev outside, back over to Herberdu. Back to Lindholm, right over to Backlund. Battle along the loose puck. Lindholm recovers it. Lila, great pass zones here for Calgary. And Lindholm's inside. But the man was on him, so he decided to retreat it. And a battle again. And Eberly has the puck in now for the offense. But the shot. That's blocked up at the fender up front. Backlund still has it. With the shot. 2 on 1. He scores. Coleman with the first goal. And that gives him up here with a 1 0 lead for Calgary for tonight. Pretty excellent move here for Backline. Would have given him a great one-time shot goal to give it off to Coleman. For however he had played, he'd definitely have it all. First play of this goal comes to Calgary, a 1-0 lead in the first period for tonight. Now we have a Soshi. Right to Beniers. Back to Everly. To Soshi. Soshi! Shot blocked by Tanev. Borgen with the Everly. But the shot! Stop by Markstrom. Now we'll hold the puck here for just 14 on 6 to go. Starting goalie for Calgary Flames. A player is officially getting to set on ice. It's now a 1-0 lead still. So she recovers it. With the shot, half banged out in traffic. And bangs out. Sorna clings the puck up on the board. Goes right back to Soshi. He finds a looking open man, finds a Wittenberg. Kraken are inside the offense zone. And a little bang out here. Thank you to the uh, uh, defensive players. Uh, I don't have to regret that one. But you're telling me, one of the players that went really had, they were really off to a good stride to give that one a run. Because of that one, they really have so much to give them to everybody. But not everyone is perfect. So they've got to find another one for room. Zorna, almost playing Blues here, and Lewis has it. Eager outside, back to Stone. And to Rikisenka, and on the stick. Oh, that was close call. Oh, my. 
That was really tough when in plays. He almost would have made that goal. That's tough because when their player was out there, Jones was reacting it quickly. But not for long, that really did turn out to be a bigger play. McCain against Weeder. Now Weeder has the puck here, back over again to Coleman. Just 11-17 to go in the first period. Mangia Payne up. Now gives it to Weeger. Weeger lost the puck and Everly with the steal. Flings the puck around the board. Weeger has it out. Recovers the puck. Gives it to the man. Ah, uh, that didn't really save up that well. Mangia Payne to stone. Trying to lift one. Trying to fake the shot. But now it's Mangia Payne. Back to Coleman. Coleman with the fade. Decides to give it to Anderson. Anderson back over to Manja Payne. Anderson back to Weger. Past the midway period here in the first period. Backlund still has it. Great play in. Anderson has it. Back to Weger. And a lot of great pass movements here for Calgary. Excellent indeed, because if the player's on them, that gives them a good stride. Anderson up again. Looks to back line. Shoots! Saved by Jones. Hits the pad with a toe. Rokowski with the puck in neutral. Back to offense zone. That gives him a good stop for Markstrom. Now to talk about here for Markstrom, he was able to try to give it off. Because of that one, he was a better player for his offense to give out on the run. But however he did, was just no adoption. Now here's Shepard back the other way. Banged out, down. Block the shot, pass Hannafin with the puck. Now Hannafin with it now. In the corner, to Foley back to Anderson. Gives it to the Foley. Shoots a shot, deflected up onto the glove by Jones, he catches it. What a great play. That really has to give him a good deflection to try to stop their run. Now players are set here, ready to take the face off. Calgary Flames still have one nothing lead. So she wins it. Schultz gives it to Tolvanen. Tolvanen right into the corner of the wall. Entering the offense for Shevstan. And he scores! Tolvanen! Tie the game up by one. That's what you call that one here because if Tall Bannon has it, he was able to try to lift it out from here and that was why they did. They played it just like they did. Kraken, Flames, tied up by one with 7.18 left to play here in the first period. Larson has one. Now gets back to Dunn. Dunn right to Cordy. Cordy back to Dunn. Back to Barscott. Horstraw to Tom Annen. Shot stopped by Mark Strom. Mark Strom recovering up here. Just a little too much focus out there. But now it's Larson. Back to Dunn. Dunn fires the puck here. Rounded it. Recovered up. Now Lindholm has it. Calgary back into the offense zone. Tafoli has one. He slides back over to Zadaroff. Stone outside. Back pass to Zadaroff. And puck given away by Donato. Here's Donato with the puck. Great play here for Stone. Kicks the puck. Recovering it around. Lewis has one. Lewis on the fast break. Gives it to Zadaroff. Uh, definitely didn't have the right man to open with. Here's a fast break. Shot stopped by Mark Strong. White right around it. That really has to give him a tough place because that was lifting it a hard look. Jacob Markstrom has already been kicking his dial in on the calls. He tries to give him a good save. Whenever he gets this one place, he has it all inbound. Control is hard, but the stopping on this play is a hard one to try to take it inbound. That's because they really give this thing a Markstrom try. I'll try to keep an eye on him with an update. Back to you guys. Had him in shot. That stopped up by Jones with a puck. He goes back to Schultz. Tenev with Sprunge. Sprunge in the corner. Back to Payas and stopped by Markstrom. 
And if I'm back over again, back to Luke. Looking around again, and right from up and so. Back pass to Herberdu. Trying to give it up to him, but Schultz takes it. Ibarra up. Burley up again. Everly. Shot safety by Smarkstrom. Cadre with it now. Three minutes to play in the first period. It's a one-to-one one one game. Weger up. Shoots it side. And it's tipped from the stick from Jones. Weger again. Tonight. Slap shot. Good stop by Jones. And we'll have to stop the play inbound with just 2.32 to go. Jones was really seeing it because that's what they definitely do. Keep the puck in control. Don't give up to anybody. And Wynn comes in. Trying to hold it from back. It's Schwartz. Wendenberg has back to Larson. Back to Schwartz. Schwartz in the corner. Wow! Bangled out! That's a big hit. Release. I know what they're going for. If the Flames are hard to go with the streak, they were out there to try to lift it. He went right round the body and went bang from the side. That was going to give a hard time because if it was a clean defense, that was a hard one they have to pick up. Now here's Wingberg. Past the neutral zone. Shot went tipped him out. He lost the puck, couldn't find it. We're down to a last man to play in the first period. Try to give him a good look. Coleman shot. He scores. Two goals in the game. And Coleman has it up to 2-1 lead. Oh, yeah. Coleman was definitely really seeing that. Give him a good look. And he had one. Great shot here for Coleman. He looks around from the corner. And when he has one in there, he was right around it. He knows he was going to find it. Coleman shot was really going to pick him off the line as he was going right from to, to left to right. He was finding open room out there. That gives him a good goal here, guys, because Coleman really has one. We'll keep an eye on him if he gets his third goal of tonight. Back to you. Zadara back over to Lindholm. Clings the puck. Doobie with the puck. And it's Gordy with the steal. Take away over in an offense zone. Come check away. Back to Toffoli. Toffoli trying to end it with a shot. And went down hard. So that ends up with the first period. Excellent shot by Coleman. That gives him a 2-1 lead. And the first. Second period is next. Second period about to get started. With a 2-1 lead in Calgary in the first period, and now it's time to see what happens here for the next one. Here's Brenners. And here's right in outside here for the corner. Bringing it back around. And right now, Hannafin has the puck. Duck has the puck. Flings the puck around the board. Unable to find Lindholms. Lindholms trying to stop one. But the puck keeps on going. Trying to get off of him. And Hannafin has it. Back over to Anderson. Anderson. Bad pass. Hannafin will have to try to regroup it back. The puck is not going to be very clear if you have a right visual to get that one perfection. It's going to be very tough to get over it. Oh, quick stop by Markshow. That will almost got it in there. Close call and range. Because if it was inside... They knew they were tied up. And the wind gives off here as Larson has one. Dunk shot. Shot went wide. Now it's Herbert U. Trying to get banging out to squish it from the board. And Benners has it. Seattle in the move. Everly with the puck. No penalty called on Calgary. That Calgary move was just, it was very that tougher, very difficult to try to get over it. But the tougher plays are not going to be very the same because if this one really keeps on going, 
can't let that happen if you were going to try to figure it out on offense. Pass, pass, again. Now he tries over to Herwardu. Herwardu right in the corner of the wall. The board, stopped by Jones. And Luki with the battle. Try to go back for back saying. McCain has it now in the middle. Shoots wide off the run. Kadri will deliver it. And Kadri's in the corner right now. Kadri. Wow, got a little bang out there, right, Swartz? Wenberg. Try to battle for the loose putt, and Kadri recovers it. Tenev with the putt. We go back to Tenev. Shoots it wide! Robert Newman would have made that save, but it didn't have the right option. Tenev again. Shoots! Stopped by Jones. McCain. And now the new changeup as Schultz has it. Around the man, and he got a tag up. That tagging was just very uh, difficult. In range, it's not easy to try to keep your pucks alive. It's very difficult to try to maintain your leg. And that's really a definite option. Scooped up by Tenev. Backhand pass to Backlund. He goes right around the board. Now it's Schultz. Puck taken away by Tapoli. Okanski right over to Gordy. Gordy right now in the neutral zone. Inside, in the corner. Tobanen shot stopped by Mark Stone. Goes over to Tapoli. And right about a man it goes. And again, right behind the cage. The cage needs to be a right perfection, Harry. Bad pass. That goes to Gordy. Whoa, banged out, but still holding on. Zadarov to Foley. Now finds over Lindholm. Race around the middle. Trying to get off the man. Man up and right to Anderson. Slap shot up and over from the net to the back of the board. That is another save made by Jones. With a little battle here with the physical contact. Went home with the puck. Racing inside. Backhander. Unable to connect that one with another goal. Trying to leave the puck alone as Roshan has one. The Kraken are inside. And that heads up. Up by the elbow of Mark Stone to stop in. Lindholm trying to scoop it along the board. Scooped up by it again. Everly with the puck now in transition. Regrouped here is Ruzicka. 11 minutes to play in the second period. Haven't passed the midway mark yet. Tenev. And it's bad pass. Veneer with the puck. Looking on. Everly up. Stopped by Mark Strong with the save. Now, it's clearly because of this one that Markstrom was able to try to have a good vision. Because of this one, it was not really an option to give that one a good run. Can't let the other players go right around it because that is a very tough one call. And you're going to need to find somebody else if there is another way to get over it. Bad Japan from the corner. Stopped by Jones. Done by over to Barkovsky. Everly had the puck. Pass the midway period, takes it over again. And offside, that goes to Seattle. And now faceoff is coming up. Players are set now. This game is still scoreless, as there is no change off yet. And with the win, fling the puck. Scooped up along the board right into the net. Goes to Coleman. Race the puck inside, going in there, wow! Almost had it in there, but a save me comes up by Kobe. I mean, sorry, Jones. Tenev has it back. Back to Donato. Donato finds Sprunge. Sprunge with it now. Gives it over, and Weger with the puck lift stick. 
Everybody look! Goes over, and Borjan takes its back. On the main rush here in the middle, and this one carries out with the defender to try to reject it. Backlund, nice zone entry from the corner. Number two, back over to Stone. Stone shot, going for it! Locked up in front. Up to Stone, back to Herberdu. Trying to give a take to take feed. Oh, and it's closed out by Stone. And it's Jones with the, with the save. And going back the other way, it will be a close call, not giving up the run. That really has to go with the change off. It's very tough to deny though, because of this one that Herberdu was trying to give it off to the player as he was going to go for the assist. He did have the right moment. He was looking at low look out. But it looks like the Jones was trying to close the gap. So that was tough. Not really sure what he's going to do. But that was very close. Jones stops the puck here with under six minutes to go in a second period. It's 2-1 game. Players are in now as for me, folks, standing by. Markstrom has it dialed in right now as this one comes in with a play. He could try to go with a heavy calls in this one to go with a dialed in quick check. And with that one, he can try to fix it from the deck. With the players inbound, Markstrom will have to give it up to a save run on this score. I'll try to keep an eye on Markstrom if he gets another save. Back to you guys. Tinet try to clear the man out. Lindholm. Lindholm try to find a look. Battle for the loose puck. Try to kick it off. Recover by Tafoli. To Foley to Weger. Weger to Zanet. Shoots a shot. Not ready to go yet as it was still bodies in the way. To Foley and right around the net. Lindholm. McCain lifts it up with a stick lift. Schwartz rolls back to Saji. Saji waits. Lines Borgen. Goes over to Lindbergh. Flings the puck up at the board. Wiga finds Lindholm. New changeup. Wiga recovers it. Now it's Calgary in a, in a cracking territory. Rusica with the puck. Now gives the Zorano to Stone. Back over to Wiga. With the shot. Stopped by Jones. That holds up with the glove save with 310 remaining. That was definitely a close range because of that one. It's an easy call to try to fix the answers. And that's because of that one, Jones was going right through it. And a win for Larson. Picks it up back. Everly, right back to Barkovsky. In his own entry middle, and Zadarov has one. Back over to Sarana. Recovered up by here by Rizika. Wow! Bang down! That really is going to be a very tough one because that was Rizika trying to smack down and says, that is what I choose. Can't fool me. Rizika still holding it on, trying to give up that one. <laughs> Keep your eyes revealed because Rizika is going over it. Zadarov. Back to Lewis. Back over to Stone. More players are making passes aggressive. Stone needs to try to regroup here. Now back to Zadarov, try to fix it again. Rusika has one. Rusika on the move, shoots, stopped again. Coleman back to Stone. Zadarov outside. Back to Coleman, shoots. Slug saved by Jones. We're just under a minute right now in the second period. It's still a 2 1 game. Players are set right now for the face off. Still a score of 2-1 Calgary lead. And a face-off win comes in. Rashad to Talbanen. Tolbanen right to Gordy. Make a move right to Barchastrad. Barchastrad and Coleman takes a steal. Fast move, here comes Coleman. With the shot! Oh man, he was going to be starting to stop the run. And Jones with a save. That was close because there was no power play to give up for 
the game with the penalty kill for Kraken, but that was definitely a good clean call. Trying to hit the run. Rough shot. Ten seconds left. Tolman with the puck. Goes to Gordy. Gordy back to Grumstrad. To Tolman. Shoots. Scott save. And that ends the second period. No score yet in this one. But we got the third period coming up. Could be going for a tie. But it will be tough to find out when we come back. Third period about to begin. They have a fun, fantastic time here as to this play. This game was to hard, remarkable, and with a trustworthy. In between the USA and Can Canadian team. Veneer stopped by Brockstrom. As we say before, because a couple plays have definitely turned out as last season goes by, Senator Seattle Kraken did beat the Canadian team against the Ottawa Senators that have already won last season. But the last season loss comes up here for the Flames as they played against the Dallas Stars here back at their home game. And for the Stars, they have definitely won their game and try to face these off with the attack on its goal. And to talk about that one here, how did Seattle Kraken do for the last game? I have to say they were remarkable of the runs. They definitely did go easy on them and then go hard. They did go with an easy look to beat against the first Canadian team. Not just going to be sure enough that they're going to try and go with the, a clean look here on offense to go with the Seattle Kraken run to try to bring them out. Lindholm has one. Scoop back to Hannafin. Hannafin down to Foley has it. Anderson outside. Stick lift. Almost rejected. Backhand shot. Tipped wide. Battle for the loose puck. Everly, get out of here here. Rokowski now in the corner. Finds a look. Lukic with the pass broken up. Cadre with the puck. Try with no contest shot. That blocked him with the defender in front. Cadre still alive. And no puck here on that one. Tineb outside. Tineb back to Lukic. Lukic shot. And stopped by Jones. Cadre over again. And Deneb trying to stop the run. And Larson has it back. Playing the puck around the board here on the offense side. Deneb has it now. Trying to take it away. Here's Coleman. He is going to try to keep it going. Around again. Stopped by Jones with a shoulder. The arm is just out of here. Control this is a hard way to get. Shoots, and no remarkable on that play. Try to go back to Dunn. McCain with it now. Crack it inside, and stopped by Mark Shaw. Goes back over to Coleman. Coleman trying to go regain the group here. Goes back to Nev. Back to Hannafin. Coleman recovers it. Gives it to Mangia Payne. That one, trying to look with the puck, but Mangia Payne has it back. Coleman, a lot of pass plays here. With the move, and stopped up, and it's just a great save here by Jones. That one with the puck. They're still keeping the puck alive. Shot, and he says no. Well, that was tough. He was almost going to have to uh, pick up the play with the save. Try to go back with it now. Seattle back in and now. Gives it over to Larson. Pass broken up. Ruzicka in the corner. Try to go with the shot. And it's stopped again by Jones. Tore it in back with it now. Zor now. Flings the puck. Rusika has one. Gives it to Zahorna. Shot. Stopped by, yeah, by Jones. To Hannafin. To Stone. Stone going back again. Goes back to Hannafin. 
Try to give up the play here as Tobin in has one. Hanneman still up there with a good time. Back to Lewis. Lewis right around and go around the man. Backhand shot. Stop made by Jones. What an excellent play here by the performance run. Look out. That shot went wide. Stone. What a great move. On man rush. Here he goes. To tie it up. Stop by Markstrom. Wow. That was pretty tough. I have to tell you this one here, Senate Peace. If they could get a goal, they could tie it. Little old wins it. Calgary back the other way. Now to the foley. Tolman and up. Stop with the kick back save here for Mark Show. Now Mark Show was really off to a great site. We really have to say about him because this was a tough one to give him a release. Try to give us up a good stop run, and it might be a very hard one, but try to go right for the flow. Stone, open shot, stopped again. Zonara, wow, good push off. Gives it to do. Dubby right now in inside, man on behind him. Kick the pad, went out of the zone. Zadarov will have to try to regroup there. To Foley. To Cadre. And Cadre's inside now. Gives it to Stone. And a great push shot. Get out of here. Weeder trying to move it in. Back and shot. Rebound shot. Stopped again by Jones. Gives it to Weeder. Chance fans are crowding for a Kraken. And here's up to Borakovsky. Trying to stop the run. And it's in spout. Oh, close one in. That's a stop made by her by Markstrom or Herberdu. I'm not sure who it was. Herberdu has it now. Shot! Locked in. The direct hit. Weeder back to Tanev. Tenev shot. Back to everybody who shoots. Scores! Everybody up right for the goalie. Now has extension 3 1. You see this play because the Jonathan Herbidu was able to try to hold it out. It's not that clearable because if Herbidu was shooting it well, he was up to the wrist. The wrist was able to pick up for Herberdu because of his smoke's ability was bringing up a tough scores. That's because they have their own play in the mount. They have it all. A huge defenseman to try to keep up their run. They will see how well he does for Herberdu. Stopped up. Wow, big play saved. And you're paying with the putt. Seven minutes to go in the third period. Coleman back to Weger. Steps good, tough stop by Tenev. Another Tenev with the pump. He goes to the back one. Around the man. Gonna be extension. And stopped again by Jones. Back to Manji Payne. Borgen has the pump. Goes back to Tenev. To Nolato. As the camera was cut out, here's how they did it with the play. Tough shots inbound here by a good run here for Mark Show. Now to resume the play, this is where it comes down. So after this one, it goes into this. With a shot stopped by Mark Show. Now back over again here. Here's Lewis. 5:35 to go in the third period. Trying to hold the bound. Lewis gets it to Weger. Decided to take his own time. But goes back over to Anderson. Back to Weger. Push him out of here. Anderson will have to regroup the pot. There are so many of them. They're trying to push him out. And that's because of their cracking to try to stay out of their offensive site. They can't be reducing enough to go with the flow. It's hard for them to try to regroup the pot. Anderson recovers it back to Zahorna. Zahorna right from the Calgary zone. He's going for it. Lewis rebounds. 
scores. That gives him extension. And Lewis has the puck. Give it up. As a horn up, just says, take this, Lewis. Yeah, that was all I did. That's a good flame motion out there. And that was pretty tough, though. Because of how Duvalde played, it was tough to find out how Zahorna so gave it off to Lewis. Lewis has his first goal given for tonight. Right now, the extension is 4 1. Swartz with it now. What a stop made. And Markstrom has a puck. Lewis with the puck. Fires the puck around the board. Zahorna so back with it now. Back to Hannafin. And bad pass. Short side. Stop. Stop the gap yeah, by Mark Shaw. Dube has the puck here. Now goes right into the neutral to offense zone. Lindholm has it. And if it back to Lindholms. Shoots wide. Lefty a cannon out behind. on number save by Jones. Cooley right now. And if it has it. And we'll have to try to regroup here. The icing is whistled out. It's on Calgary. 3 U26 left to play. It's a 4 1 lead for Calgary. Players are set right now, getting ready for the faceoff. Clock is ticking down. And Lindholm has a second faceoff win. Anderson to Doby. Doby with the puck. Tries to give it to Anderson. Kicked it. And Boshai. Gonna have to take it. Stopped again. Marchko. He is on dial in. Oh, you see that point. Because that was really the tough to try to give it off the eye. Covered a shot. Stopped up by Jones. Krakens are on offense now. Shoots it for the middle. That stopped over again, shot wide. Just one minute left to play. And, wow! Forstrad has it deflected in, and they have 4 2. I don't know if it was the point for Oliver, but Forstrad, oh my goodness. And because the total man has that point, he was finding it. I have to replay this. That deflection was able to pick him out, and Oliver had that one in with a good goal. To take him right around the edge. And with this one, was a very clip to clarify. He was out of range. Shot. What a deflection he made, and a great stop. I'll try to keep an eye on that one if there's a choice. Back to you. Luke it. Blocked out. And Stone with it. And he dies. So that gives him an end here for the Krakens to go with the odd. With the uh, extra man on, and that will end the period here in the third. So the Flames destroy the Kraken, and they're tough Canadian teams. They're always that good, and some Canadian teams not so good. Markstrom has got a save, and it's Coleman with two goals, and it was Herberdu with the shot, and it was a give it off to to Lewis, however, with a great putback by Zardarov. It was really that tough to try to defend it up that way. <laughs> it's really true. Trying to play with the best place, this one is all he had. Wow! Veneers! Trying to hold out that one, but it will not be enough to make the win here for the Krakens. Unfortunately, they've lost the game. As right now, Kraken has it. They have a 5-3 cut down by 2. And here's a stop by Marshall. That's it. The game's over. The final of this regular season has come to an end with the Flames win over the Krakens at 5-3. Excellent plays here for Mark Schoen and everybody else played hard. So that's it. That's two bits finished right now and we will see you all later in the postseason. So keep your eyes tuned here once the regular season's over. It'll be starting here on April, so make sure you keep your eyes tuned here for another match-offs. So with that one, that's Subalong with Refund, it's on a beast. This has been your presentation 
of the conclusion for the regular season of NHL and EA Sports. Let's go over to Center Beast to close the game. See you next time. Thank you so much, says to three star players of the game are on. We have his Ellie Tomainen. Tolman in with a goal and assist. He got a great quick look of it. And the second star we have now, on the other hand, is Oliver Porfstrad. Also got a goal and assist. With that one, it was all a clever, a deflection, and it was picked off right over around Markstrom. And your first star player goes to Blake Coleman. Two goals only. So that was done, right timings. Right around from the goalie, and it went in for net. So Coleman has got two, could have got three if he would have made a hat trick. That was a tough one, just like if you've seen Keller, that done it the best. And here's how they did with the uh, summary of the shots on goal for Flames in Seattle, 44 to 32. Then some hits, very battle to battle, brutal, here with the just only nines. Time on attack was only Calgary 16-26 and 3-30 for Seattle. 81 percentage and 93 percentage of the passing ability was a, was a little higher rating with that one, but uh, can't be stopped. Faceoff wins was a lot for Seattle. Flames got to find something else to try to pick up with the faceoff because there are so many of them. And only penalty minutes killed was two minutes for Seattle and only power play for Calgary that definitely did turn out with the start here in the first period. But no power play goals played here for anything in between and nothing shorthanded. So, yep, that's it. The regular season matchup has been complete. Stay tuned for the postseason as we will get you tuned in to find out how they can get things back on the run. So you'll see some one of the teams in the playoff matches from the wild card to the to the uh, to the play playoff for clinched title to get in this part of the game. So that will be the next one to get into the list once this get day gets close. So we got tons of break here that will just did turn out to be one by one. So thank you all for tuning in for the NHL regular season of Season 2. And we will see you all later for the NHL and EA Sports of the postseason. This is Son of Beast thanking you for watching. Until next time, for a while, as the NHL on EA Sports style. Make sure to follow me on my social medias and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you don't, somebody will. Thank you and... Peace out. Bye guys. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.